Hello and welcome to the second part of the Armour Fast German SDK FZ251-1 review. In the first video we looked at the contents of the box and the instructions and discussed how basically simple this kit was going to be to assemble. Uh, as I stated in the previous video, it is for my seven-year-old son and it was his first attempt at actually putting a kit together himself. And in fairness, he didn't do a bad job. One other thing I mentioned in the previous video was that the kit came with a pair of MG34s for each uh, half track. In fact, in the box are contained two MG42s, but the box art clearly displays two MG34s. So a little correction there. Also on the back of the box, one little thing to note is that uh, this section here is a full flat piece. It, you don't get this little piece here, which is the floor plate for the uh, driver's area. Very, very simple, straightforward kit, as we uh, discussed in a previous video. Uh, the young lad had no problem putting it together. I supervised him and made sure he didn't uh, glue himself together or put paint in his eyes or that type of thing, as can happen to us all in the modeling community from time to time. Very simple kit, as I say, a joy to put together for him and uh, a nice introduction to the hobby. I have previously made most of his kits for him, although he would be involved in the painting. Um, so let's have a look at the units he put together. So these are the two. Amberfast SDKFZ 251s that he manufactured. Uh, bear in mind, they are manufactured by a seven year old, but in fairness to him, he didn't do a bad job, I have to say. Uh, had them together in uh, double quick time and uh, he enjoyed it thoroughly. He had forgotten that there was two in the box, so he was quite delighted to discover that he had a pair of half tracks rather than just the one that he actually anticipated. So, um, Looking at the kit itself, very, very straightforward to put together, as I've mentioned. Uh, comes with the two MG42s. Um, Basically a very, very easy kit. You can see the paint job there isn't exactly professional level, but he is only seven, so, you know, let's cut the guy some slack. Um, the little pattern he's used in that was to match, as I said previously, a uh, King Tiger by the Airfix range, which he uh, has here. In fact, he has a pair of them um, in various stages of disrepair because they've seen heavy combat um, on his bedroom floor and my kitchen table. So that's those two guys. Nice idea that he actually had the... Uh, foresight to blend in the color uh, schemes with his existing um, armaments. The colors used were from the uh, Humbrol range. Uh, 160 was the uh, brown, 94 is the kind of cream or beigey color, and 86 is the green, with 33 being used for any black work that he used in that. Uh, they were the water-based uh, little pots that come with the kit sometimes, but very easy to apply and safe for a kit. Of course, obviously, enamel paints and that kind of stuff wouldn't be ideal. He also put a wash over the uh, the uh, kits because he'd seen one or two things that I had done previously. Um, and the wash he used, um, or shading, whatever you want to call it, is this unit from or this piece from Citadel, uh, Newlin or Nullin oil, uh, liberally applied as kids do when they're making model kits. Uh, he put enough paint and and uh, wash on this to do an entire battalion. Um, but he's happy, and at the end of the day, you know, another little uh, member to the community added. I think. Um, from that perspective. So those two little, two little guys, nice little job done. I did state in the previous video that I was going to compare for size some other half tracks. This one here is a matchbox, one that I put together maybe 20 years ago. Um, considerable difference in size uh, from the, the front there as you can see. These are 176 scale, the armor fast are of course 172 as it states here. Uh, just for other comparisons, let's have a look at, uh, this is a Hasegawa unit. Um, with the Pack 40 75 mm anti tank gun, these are some ones that I prepped a while back. This one is the uh, the Stummel, um, what was it, 50 or 37 mm uh, gun? I can't remember which off the top of my head right now. So from a size perspective, they match up quite well. The Hasegawa units are a layer variant, um, as you can see, the kind of flat doors there, as opposed to the uh, kind of uh, more angular looking ones on these lads here. Um, they match up quite well, and um, I will be getting some Armourfast Half-Track 251-1s for my own collection, I think. And let's have a look. There's another one there. It's, uh, I think that one is an S here, or S-key, um, uh, what would you call it, engineering um, or bridging kit there. That little one there came with the little bridge units for the, the Half-Track itself. One thing I don't like about these, separate track pieces, and I remember at the time I made a mess of it, as you can see, absolute disaster. But on a tabletop, grand, you know, it's my tabletop, it's my war game table, and off we go. So no one's going to see that really. Uh, so all in all, a very, very successful little weekend that uh, my young lad had, making his two 
half tracks um, and in fairness I cannot recommend the armor fast uh, range uh, high enough from that perspective ideal for introductory uh, members to the hobby uh, or for more established members who might like to have a uh, quick build army um, or battalions for wargaming purposes rapid fire is what I generally do so uh, these guys are uh, just the right scale for that so that is the video uh, review for the Armorfast German STK FZ251 slash 1 variant. As I say, a good little kit, um, easy to put together, uh, paints up nicely, even if you're 7. Uh, so, all in all, bit of a winner there, can't recommend it highly enough. So, get out there and get some Armorfast uh, vehicles into your range if you're a modeler or if you're a wargamer and enjoy. We'll have some more videos coming up fairly soon, uh, some figure reviews and some painting videos and, and uh, we're also going to manufacture a wargames table uh, which we'll do uh, an extended series of videos on for a uh, cheap and cheerful construction uh, for a folding table um, which is easy to um, have in a small uh, small area if you uh, don't have a lot of space so we'll be manufacturing one of those and talking you through how to do that in uh, some videos which will be coming up soon so thank you for watching and uh, putting up with my my voice, my Irish accent, and uh, my stuttering and stammering, and my pausing as I record. So look, here's looking forward to some, uh, some more videos. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Goodbye now.